way I, I grew up with a math book. So you grew up with the math books, that's what you're used to? Yeah, I'm used to math books. In previous years, our teachers wouldn't let us discuss math problems with one another because they wanted everything to be so peaceful and quiet. And I think math packets are pretty good. From my past few years of experience with them, they can be very challenging. Depending on if one of your friends also likes doing them, you guys can have a giant competition. We first start with notes, and then we go into math book, and then after we finish our math lessons, we go into our homework. Last year in math class when we were working on our math books, usually we worked independently and didn't discuss the problems. And when we walk into our room for math, our teacher tells us what to do, and we come to the carpet. And then we get out our math books and we open it up to a certain page that he tells us to. He tells us the answers and how to solve it on one of the pages. And then we go to the next page and we do it on our own. And then that's all. The traditional approach to teaching math is where a teacher stands in front of a classroom and writes step by step the rules and instructions on how to solve a certain problem. The students will follow along in their district curriculum workbook, take notes, and try a couple example problems with the teacher. The lessons are usually dry and very routine. After the teacher guided instruction, the students will work independently in their student workbooks or math packets. Some will grasp the mathematical concept while others will struggle. This is the approach for most math classes across the nation. I think math debates should be used in other classrooms because it lets students be actively involved in their classwork. Hi, uh, my name is John Stevens. I'm the creator of WouldYouRatherMath.com, and I got an email from Mr. Pham saying that uh, he's having his students do math fights in his classroom, and it is outstanding to hear. So the first question, what is a math fight? A math fight is giving students a prompt and letting them figure out where they stand on the issue and justifying it using mathematics and having students think about that trying to really wrap their head around what it is that they would rather have and more importantly why. Today's math debate is going to be pennies versus quarters. <laughs> Let's do like a family mystery. Pennies versus quarters. Dun, dun, dun! All right. Quarters! Go ahead and open up uh, Google Classroom. Uh, your question is there. I want to see you math debate, okay? Let's do 10 minutes and we'll finish it off, okay? Find out your evidence. Math fights, math debates. Okay, go. And then you can find out how much it looks like for it's four pen. No, 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 I think they're asking whether you'd have 500 pounds of pennies or 40 pounds of quarters, meaning, so you find out how many pennies weigh and then how many pennies would equal to 500 pounds and then how much quarters weigh and how many quarters would equal to 40 pounds. I predict that pennies and quarters is the same as each other. I predict that um, 40 pounds of quarters would 
be more than um, 500 pounds of pennies. 500 pounds of pennies is bigger than 40 pounds of quarters by $60. Okay, but what are you finding out? How much? Uh, what's the question? Okay. So can you apply that then to your overall question? Yeah? Okay, let's see the work. Okay, wait. Uh, you have a question? Go ahead. Is a penny made out of copper or zinc? I don't know, you gotta research that, right? Because it says um, new, unused, or uncirculated copper sinks weigh about 3.11 grams each or about 145 copper pennies per pound. Okay, so are we gonna. Okay, so why do I like um, math debates or math fights? I think I enjoy math fights and debates because. It allows my students to research um, their answers and bring something new to the classroom because it's like for the first time they are really teaching me something. They can uh, give me an answer that I didn't know of or they can ask me <clears throat> like the other day like the questions of the pennies and the quarters. So are you talking about a copper penny or are you talking about <clears throat> a zinc penny? So questions like that is great. Okay. I like math debates because they let you see math in another point of view and sometimes you might think one thing but your peers might think another and they'll help you understand their way and then you can help them understand your way. I like math debate because it's a fun way for you to express yourself on the math and to show your work and try to prove each other wrong or try to prove each other right and it's also a way to get you to actually interact with each other when, it, when you're doing math because most of the time when we do, when people are doing math, they don't do any, they don't talk to each other. But in math debate, you do, and um, <clears throat> and also in math debate, you actually have to think about what you're doing. You have to think and you have to do the math yourself. What are you asking? Are the copper pennies or are the pennies copper pennies? Oh, Devin, what do you notice on the about the quarter? It's uh, like filled with something brown. Brown and what else? And it has like uh, has like a silver over it. Okay, so and what is that made out of? Do you do you research? Do you find out? Nickel and... Nickel and what? Anybody nickel and what? Copper. And the nickel and a copper mixture, right? Okay. Uh, why do I think more teachers should be doing these? Because I, I think that we have a problem, and I know that we have a problem. We have a problem with people not knowing how to use their words to get out of a disagreement. And so what ends up happening is either they use their fists or they end up causing rifts in relationships, friendships, uh, etc. And I think that math can be a great platform to have that conversation to where we, we start to build in the, the vest, the volume, the eloquence, the style and the tone of an argument so that people will take you seriously and they will understand where you're coming from. You can have a good conversation, a good disagreement without stepping over that line or resorting to other methods. So. I think that a math fight really allows a student to take ownership of something and talk about it in a way that makes sense for them and hopefully conveys that message to others. And I think that math debates are good because it allows kids to actually kind of yell in class and it actually like you can interact with students and um, your peers while actually um, showing work and doing things you love, like math and yelling. So, do you like to yell? Yes. Yes what? Yes, I like to yell. A lot? Yeah. Hi, my name's Aaliyah and I love math debates. The reason why I love math debates is because it makes me, it like inspires me to be a lawyer when I get older, and that is because with math debates you get to prove people wrong, which I love doing, and it's fun, you kind of feel power. 
What I like about arguing is the most is where you get to compare notes with other groups. You also get to see whether your notes are right or whether their notes are wrong, and then you get to fight about it. And I like math debates because it gives you a little bit of a lesson about court, and also it's not just doing work on a boring old piece of paper. You get to have fun while doing it. Explain why it's just like court. And it's like court because you get to explain why the other people are wrong and why you are right. What if you're wrong? Then if you're wrong, well, it's still fun doing it because you get to do it with your friends and just have fun. Hello, I'm going to show you which is better, 500 pounds of pennies or 40 pounds of quarters. First, we will go to our handy dandy calculator. Then we will go and find how many copper pennies are in a pound, which is 145. So I'm going to do 145 times 500, because that is how many pounds we're trying to find out. So that's 72,500. Then I'm going to divide that by 100, because there are 100 pennies in a dollar. So that's $725 in pennies. Now, I'm going to go to the calculator again so I can find out quarters. So, how many quarters are in a pound? 80 quarters. So, I'm going to type in 80 times 40 because that is how many pounds we're trying to find out so that's 3,200 then we divide that by 4 because that's how many quarters are in a dollar so that leaves us with $800 in quarters so I would rather have 800 quarters than than $725 in pennies. Thank you. As far as anything else, just keep giving kids a, a platform to have a microphone, to have a voice, to step up in classrooms and let their ideas be heard. You know, we, we get stuck into a one right answer classroom and we wonder why kids don't enjoy school. Well, they're not they're not thinking, they're not engaging, they're just reacting to whatever it is that we're telling them to do or whatever we're assigning to them. So by doing a, a math fight or giving something to think about and letting them have a voice in the matter, I think it can, it can go a long way. So hopefully it helps and good luck. Let's start a revolution. 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 Start a revolution. Go start a math fight. Engage.